because of your confession of faith. In Jesus Christ, is your God's name. I baptize you, my little brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And in the mighty name of Jesus, the Spirit of Christ, the baptism. We're here because the Lord sent us. I believe that with all my heart. We ain't nobody special, but He is. He came calling today. Did you hear me? I said God came calling today. And you know what He said? Don't harden your heart. And I'm gonna tell you something. The kids led the way, and that shouldn't ought to be. Did y'all hear what I said? I said the kids led the way. The kids led the way, and what I'm wondering today, is there any grown-ups here with as much courage as these kids showed a while ago to make a public profession of Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Is there a real man here today? Is there a real person today that would step up here and say, I'm not ashamed. He's my Lord and he's my Savior. Savior. Lord and Savior. What's, what, what's your name, brother? Victor Jefferson. Victor Jefferson. I'll tell you something. There needs to be some more. As a man. You know why? Because we're not promised tomorrow. The Lord said, I'm coming soon in the kingdom can of God's hand. Can I say that today any coward can serve the devil? Will it take some courage to come up here this evening and say, Jesus Christ is my Lord, and I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed to shout it from the housetop, from the rooftop, from the highway, from the byways. The Bible says we'll stand before him someday and we'll give an account. He said, if you'll confess me before men, I'll confess you before my Father in heaven. So listen to this. He came here today to forgive you of your sins. He came here today to tell you he loves you because he proved it on the cross. He proved it on the cross. Listen to me. Why don't you be a real man or a real lady to say Amen. Why don't you take Somebody say Amen. Amen. I declare to you today that it's Jesus or hell. What's the Victor? Yeah. Victor, come here, my brother. Is that right? I want you to make your public profession of faith in Jesus Christ right now. Is he your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. I've been through so much. I'm still going through some stuff. Thank you, man above. Amen. For blessing me with my life today. Amen. All I got to say. Hallelujah. I'm that is that is real, man. That if God can save me, he can save anybody. Now, if you are here and you believe the words that you have heard, that God loved you so much that not only did he send Jesus to die in your place, but he touched the hearts of a few men and women to come in your neighborhood and basically knock on your door to get your attention to extend the free invitation So we've all fallen short. We've all messed up. And the wages of that mess up apart from Jesus is death. Eternal separation from the Father in heaven. But praise the Lord, God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to walk the face of this earth, to endure some hard things for our sake, for your sake. He was spit upon his face. His beard was plucked. He was beaten torn, tattered, blood everywhere, and still carried the cross to Calvary. How many of us could be beaten like that, spit on like that, never throw a punch back, take it all for the sake of another fellow man? I'm coming to you today with my faith. Repent of my sins. And I ask that you forgive me. And make me your child. And the confession of your faith, Charles, my brother, and believe in Jesus Christ and I'll obedience to his commandment to repent and be baptized. I baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. May be a new man in Jesus Christ. Make me a better brother. Make me a better friend. 
Make me productive in society. A few weeks ago, two of us was in Chicago, Illinois. We was on the south side about a week before the 4th of July. And we preached up there and some people got angry with us. The parents had to come to that school and But do you know, a week 